When we stare at the night sky, a question that has puzzled humanity for ages pops up. How was our universe born? It's a mind-boggling mystery, right? But here's something even trickier. What was there before the universe? While scientists have been sweating over this mystery for decades, let's take a journey together to explore what we know so far. Spoiler alert, it's a wild ride. The beginning of our journey, Edwin Hubble. Flashback to the early 20th century, a time when our understanding of the universe was much, much smaller. Enter Edwin Hubble. This guy, total game changer. One day, Hubble was on Mount Wilson, California, peering through his telescope, when he made a shocking discovery. What everyone thought were random clouds of gas floating in space turned out to be other galaxies. And guess what? They were moving. That might not sound huge, but it led to something groundbreaking. The universe is expanding. So if it's expanding, it must have started somewhere, right? That's where the real detective work began. Over the years, scientists pieced together the Big Bang Theory, and here's the gist of it. In the beginning, there wasn't even a when or a where. It's hard to wrap your head around, but before the universe, there was nothing. But then there was one thing, the cosmic singularity. Meet the cosmic singularity. Imagine the entire universe packed into something the size of a pea, a super dense, ultra hot pea. That's the cosmic singularity. The pressure and temperature inside this tiny dot were off the charts. Eventually, something had to give. Boom. The Big Bang wasn't just an explosion. It was the beginning of everything we know. Time, space, matter, energy, the whole cosmic shebang. In the immediate aftermath, tiny particles called quarks were thrown into a chaotic, scorching hot broth. Over time, things cooled down. Gravity did its thing, pulling particles together, creating atoms, molecules, and eventually, stars, galaxies, and planets. Oh, and by the way, this all happened around 13.8 billion years ago. But what came before the Big Bang? Ah, the million dollar question. Now that we know how the universe started, we can't help but wonder, what happened before that? Let's dive into some of the wildest theories. Alan Guth's inflation theory enter. Alan Guth, a theoretical physicist with a passion for answering these big cosmic questions. After studying the Big Bang, Guth realized there were some things that didn't add up. For instance, how was the distribution of matter in the early universe so even? Imagine hanging a paint-filled balloon over a canvas. If you pop it, you'd expect a chaotic splash, right? But the early universe wasn't chaotic. It was smooth, like someone had carefully expanded it from a tiny point. Guth's inflation theory suggests that before the Big Bang, there was some unknown force that caused the universe to expand evenly, almost instantly. This idea changed the game for physicists. Today, most scientists agree that this mysterious inflation process was key to shaping our universe. Martin Bojold and the cyclical universe. But wait, there's more. Enter Martin Bojold, another physicist with a different take. Remember that super dense, super hot singularity? Bojold argues it didn't just appear out of nowhere. Nothing comes from nothing, right? According to him, time doesn't flow in a smooth, continuous way like a pendulum. Instead, it jumps in tiny, discrete steps, like the ticking of a clock. His theory? The universe is like a balloon that inflates, Big Bang, but eventually deflates back into a singularity, only to bounce back again. That means the Big Bang was just one of many, part of an infinite cycle of expanding and contracting universes. Wild, right? The multiverse and brain collisions. As if that wasn't mind-blowing enough, some scientists have taken things to a whole new level. Meet Neil Turok and Paul Steinhardt, two physicists who believe our universe is just one of an infinite number of universes. Yup, you heard that right. We're stuck in a cycle of endless big bangs and infinite parallel worlds. How does it work? 
They believe our universe is part of something called a brain, as in membrane, and that it's floating in a higher dimensional space. Every once in a while, these brains collide with each other, triggering a big bang and creating new universes. And guess what? Another universe could be just an inch away from ours, separated by a tiny, almost invisible space. Creepy and awesome at the same time. The big unknown. If your head is spinning right now, don't worry. You're not alone. The truth is, we're still figuring things out. The universe is full of mysteries, and every theory is like a piece of a giant puzzle. While some scientists laugh off wild ideas like brain collisions, others push forward, knowing that today's crazy theory could be tomorrow's revolutionary discovery. History teaches us that big ideas are often met with skepticism. Remember when people thought the Earth was flat? Or when the Big Bang Theory itself was considered outrageous? The road to discovery is paved with struggle, doubt, and curiosity. So, what's the truth? At this point, we don't know for sure which theory is right. Maybe one day we'll crack the code and figure out the true origin of our universe and what came before. Until then, all we can do is keep asking questions, exploring the cosmos, and pushing the boundaries of human knowledge.